Hi everyone, it's Emma here. I'm coming to you from my bed today. I'm sort of wrecked. It is half 8 p.m. It's pretty bright outside and so the day really hasn't finished but my eyes are so heavy. Um, I don't know whether I put on too much makeup and it's just weighing me down or whether I had this big old interview earlier and I was so, you know when you have so many emotions going on and then once they're all over you just hit the floor? That was pretty much me. Even afterwards my heart was racing, my head was like spinning around and uh, so I was like, I was like downstairs just walking around the house like not even knowing what to do. So anyway, so I've obviously calmed down now but I guess it's just hit me so... <laughs> Uh, a bit embarrassed that like having one activity in a day of quarantine has made me tired but um sure look nice bit of excitement so I thought I'd actually chat to you about who who I am as I haven't really done one of those videos yet and I had sure didn't I have a load of time to think about it on my walk this morning um before my interview and standing there chatting to myself with my pair of heels on a zoom call don't worry, I got enough slagging for it. Well enough slagging for it. But I reckon that they actually saw the stilettos could make that difference. It could be that 1.5% that is in those couple of inches. So if you're wondering at this stage what the interview was about, last week I picked up a call and I thought it was like someone that I'd like given my number to, um, not in like a fun way, in a web developer way, getting my website developed. And I thought it was another web developer, so I was like, a oh, final answer. I like looked at it and I was like, do I have to? And then I picked it up and I was like, Emma, we have some good news for you. And I was just like, what? So... Then they proceeded to tell me that there was this application that I was asked to fill out um, months and months before, like three months before. And so I filled it out and it was basically like this young female entrepreneur of the year award. So my mentor actually was asking me, she handed it on to me and she was like, oh, like you should do this. And we were chatting the other week and she was asking like, what the crack is with that? Like, did you hear back from it? And so I never actually heard back. So then we hear back and then I get this call saying that, uh, oh, well done, you've um, made the top three. Your shortlist is the top three. And I was like, oh, okay, like what now? So, so then she said that I had this interview on Tuesday. So automatically, obviously I'm gonna just myself until Tuesday. So the whole week I'm just nervous about what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna come across, um, all this kind of stuff. And so as you can gather by the fact that I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> I can talk, like, I can talk a lot. But if someone asks you to talk about yourself for five minutes, you kind of just go like, me? Whereas you can easily talk about yourself for five minutes if you're not thinking about it. What it is, is I own a dog service business, uh, basically pet services, dog walking and pet sitting specifically. It's going well, like our business. <laughs> Our business has hit the floor like it's because of COVID-19 we don't really have many dogs at all now uh, but before it was going very well so we'll pick it back up and there's lots of puppies now out and about so I'm pretty excited about that and and um, the girls that also walk dogs with um, my company are very excited about that as well okay my interview starts in like two minutes so I'm quite nervous about this Okay, the, the thing is just ticking down. My name is Emma and I run Pawfit. So Pawfit is a dog walking and pet sitting service based in South Dublin. The past two and a half years, I have basically gone from doing part-time to doing full-time to employing staff onto the team. In the past year, I have been working as a full-time business owner and um, managing my staff, working in with the dogs and building business. And I've also been studying full-time. The digital marketing course was actually specifically for Pawfit. So I took a year to basically learn all the ins and outs of marketing and entrepreneurship and all the kind of elements that you need to incorporate into it all the digital marketing. You should see my room right now. I'm not showing you it but you should see it. It's atrocious. Basically I moved all of my furniture onto this side of the room. All of the, you know that pile of clothes you have in your room that you're kind of like, it actually doesn't look that messy over there so I'm gonna leave the little pile of clothes over there. Maybe just me <laughs> but I generally have even just two jumpers or something because I've worn them and they're too good to put in the drawer but I mean they're really not worn enough to be like washing them so they get the pile 
that's the that's the status they're awarded. The other side of my room is completely clear so that I could stand up for my interview, which actually I got little brownie points for. But now I'm dealing with the consequences. So, fun times. So who I am as a person, what I do is, well, I kind of said them. And I think that what would be handy would be doing some sort of Q&A. So if I was getting some questions in, I might do a Q&A. So this is a call to action to leave some questions in the comment section below of questions you'd like me to include in a little Q&A. I will also put it up on Instagram. I think I meant to do a Q&A a while back, but I did not realize, as I'm sure everyone has done this at some point, every amateur human on earth has put up a story saying Q&A and then leaving it for over 24 hours and then all your questions disappear and it's just like, oops. So that's what I did. I thought that if I saved it to my highlight that I'd still have it, but no. If you would like me to do a how to start a dog walking business video, I'd be happy to sit and chat about that or any questions you have about that, any questions you have about quarantine or about my weightlifting experiences, all that fun jazz. So yes, I hope everyone's surviving. We in Ireland are on our stage one of our little roadmap out of this craziness. So lockdown has been for eight weeks, I believe. So it's been quite a long haul. I think the highlight of this week, well, for me, for us as dog walkers was outdoor workers being allowed to go outside. And then the other one was that groups of four can meet up. Obviously you have to be like 3,000 miles away from each other, but if you're still able to chat, you know, while one of you's in the middle of the road, one of you's on the other side of the road. But anyways, so that's our highlight from Ireland. Um, you probably are watching this from Ireland, so you probably already know the sus. But that is what we're up to. We go into our second phase of the roadmap in like three weeks, and I mean, not much changes then. But it will happen over time, so it's kind of nice to have that little bit of hope. I'm gonna leave you now, I'm gonna stop rambling. So God bless the judges that had to listen to me for 15 to 20 minutes just basically bragging about myself. So, <laughs> has to be done. But it's still a weird one to be chatting about yourself for 15 minutes, but whatever, I guess here I am. If you're not watching from Ireland, let me know where your country is at, how your country is handling quarantine, whether it's handling it well, or whether you guys are back to normal life and we're just like, light years behind you guys. Also, news, <laughs> I got my hands eventually on some bumper plates, on some 15 kilo bumper plates, which means I can throw them in the snatch, I can clean and jerk sort of with them, I can power jerk, and I can also have a bit of weight on the bar so that my squats aren't feeling so incredibly lovely, which is great, but it's also not great because it's too light. So, I finally got some and from Rogue of all places. So like Rogue, Alico. So I thought I was doing real freaking well. And then I got an email this morning from Rogue and I was like, oh, are they trying to remind me that I have these sexy plates on the way? That's really sweet of them, just trying to make my day. And then I open it and it was like, hi, uh, you know that stuff you bought yesterday? Well, we can send you one of them. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, you can send me one of my weight plates. And then they and then they had the audacity of asking, like, do you want us to send you that plate? And then send you the other one when it arrives in mid-June? I'm just like, this, is, this was hopeful, but now not so much. But you know what? It will be great. A lovely mid to end June treat that I'm going to have now instead of in a week. So, listen... <laughs> Things don't always work out perfect, but I'm happy I have plates, and I'm also happy I have rogue plates, and they're also recycled material, so they're gonna hella smell, but <laughs> apparently, apparently these, these weights smell, so, but I'm gonna enjoy using them, and they didn't break the bank either, there was some weights, like, if I wanted to get two plates from Aliko, it was gonna cost me, like, nearly 500 quid to get them, and get them delivered for two plates, now, they, they would have been sexy, it's not but they just would have broke with the bank and that would have been 15 kilo plates like not even blues so 
Anyways, so that's been a whole old journey. Like, I don't know if you've been buying gym gear as well or trying to, is probably the more accurate word, trying to buy gym equipment. It is such a struggle right now. Like, you can be Googling it for hours. You can be on page 56 of Google and still not find a successful candidate. Or else you find a successful candidate and it's like money, money to India at weightlifting.com and you're like, Naughty, naughty, you teasing me, you naughty, naughty. And I have some weights, so I really can't complain. So I am actually very grateful for them. Um, I just want to be able to throw some weights. Anyways, I'm gonna love you and leave you. So thank you for watching my video. It's been a real kind of just chilled out one. Just turn on the camera and tell you what's going on, I guess. So oftentimes I think I plan the videos and I just thought I'd come on and just say hi. Please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe so that you don't miss the Q&A video. Click the bell so that you get a notification so it's served to you on a silver platter and leave your questions in the comment section below or message me on instagram like my foot's detached from my body because i've been sitting on it for 20 minutes so i'll talk to you guys soon have a lovely day thank you for joining me with my little casual chats and i really appreciate the support that i've been getting lately so thank you very much for that and i'm gonna go wake my foot back up because it's completely asleep <laughs> thanks so much guys take care I think it went well. I actually think it went really, really well. I think I was a bit jumpy. <laughs> but you know what, I was prepared.